So now I've got all the van ripped out, I'm ready for the floor to go down with the insulation. What I'm going to use for the floor is 25 by 50 mil pre-treated timber. And the reason I'm using the pre-treated is because This is for outdoor use, so it's going to be perfect for the floor of the van because it can withstand a lot of uh, different temperatures and uh, different weather conditions. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to sick a flex this to the floor and I've seen some other van builders put sick a flex on the bottom and then screw it down through the floor of the van. But I'm not going to do that because it took me three days just to remove plywood that was on the floor of the van that came with the van because it was stuck down with Sikaflex and that was going absolutely nowhere. It, it was solid, it was stuck down solid. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the original plywood floor, I'm gonna screw that down into these battens and these battens will be secured down onto the base of the van with the Sikaflex. As soon as these are Sikaflex down correctly onto the base of the van, they're not gonna budge. So if there was any, God forbid, if there was an accident or anything, you're gonna have the plywood screwed down into these and then you're gonna have the units and stuff will be, will be screwed, secured to the plywood of the van. So nothing's gonna move. So we're gonna give it a go. I just gotta figure out where the first batten is gonna go at the back door. So I've, I've put back on the, the liner here, the plastic trim on the back door where the locks are and stuff. Have juice. Thank you very much. And this is what you call Service with a smile. Cheers. Cheers. Beautiful carrot and apple juice. This will fuel me through this floor insulation, I hope. I'm gonna drink this and then start cutting these battens and filling in the insulation in between.
I'm now finished with the insulation for the floor of the van. What I've done is I have cut these pressure treated battens and I laid them out and then I cut the insulation and put it in between the battens but I didn't glue anything yet because I wanted to make sure that I was happy with everything so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take these boards and I'm going to scrape off all the adhesive that was stuck on the bottom so if you can see there's lumps of adhesive all over the, the bottom of this board um, so that's one section it's in two halves that's one half and that's the other half so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean them up and then I'm gonna relay it in the floor of the van just to make sure that I'm happy with everything The next morning and I've left the floor of the van overnight and um, I've left the Sikaflex to cure overnight and as you can see I've used some plant pots on top of the battens just to make sure that there's none of them uh, if there if there's any bows or any warping in the, the timber battens that they're being pressed down fully so what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm going to take out these pots and then I'm going to go around, have a look over, make sure that all these battens are actually stuck onto the floor of the van. And if I spot any area that hasn't been stuck down properly overnight, maybe it didn't connect with the Sikaflex or because the floor of the van has a lot of ridges, so it's not completely flat. It's got like loads of ridges you know so what I've done is I've stuck the Sikaflex on top of the ridges and then put the battens on top of that uh, for the battens going across the van and then it was easier for the battens running down the van because you just you just run the Sikaflex along um, a, a rib uh, you'd, you'd find a rib inst uh, instead of a hollow and then you put the Sikaflex along the rib and you would put the batten on it but for the ones going across it was uh, 
you, you're only relying on where every time you have a, a bump, say a rib, then you put the sikaflex on, on, on the rib. If you can understand what I mean, you, you'd know what I mean when, when you see the, the floor of a van. I'll show you. So here's the back of the van and I don't have this batten glued down yet, but I'm just going to show you what I mean. You have these ribs running along the van. You see these ribs here and then in, in between them you have a hollow and then you have a rib hollow rib hollow rib so what I did was I glued on top of so for the the battens running across the van I stuck a, a bead of Sikaflex on all the ribs going across and that's the reason why I have these uh, plants on top of the battens running across the van so in case that there, if there's any in case there's any like warping on the board that these will press them down so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove remove everything from the back of the van go around press down on the battens make sure that all the battens have been stuck down correctly and if I spot any Batten that hasn't been stuck down correctly. What I'm going to do is I will re remove the insulation, stick a bit of Sikaflex under whatever batten. So say for for example, if it was this batten, I'll remove this insulation and then I will run a bead of Sikaflex under it and I will put back down the heavy plants on top of the batten, making sure that I get a, a secure fixing of the battens to the base of the van. And I think that's important because there's no screws going on this. There's no screwing going through the battens into the van because I know from experience taking up the plywood floor that if you have enough Sikaflex and if it's connected, there's nothing going to move those battens. And then what I'll do is I will secure the plywood onto these battens.